Hello once again, this is Mark Morello with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we show you clearly and concisely how to use Adobe Photoshop. Today we're going to look at how to use a couple of different tools that are kind of important. First of all, we're going to learn how to use the Magnetic Lasso tool, which is located right over here. Then we're also going to learn how to use the Layers panel over here, as well as a thing called a Clipping Mask, which is right there. Now the end result of what we want to learn today is how to get an object within an object and not have to do a lot of special things to it to make it fit. Uh, you're going to see what I'm talking about in a minute. That sounds a little confusing, but we're going to insert my face into just this area right here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using the three tools we talked about. So let me show you how to do that right now. Before we learn how to use the lasso tool, I want to introduce you to the layers panel over here. And the layer panel is really important because you can stack things on top of each other. For example, you'll notice I have this little text or type tool indicator here. That's the layer where our letters are located at. And then below that, you'll have our background layer. Okay. To select each one, all you have to do is click on that layer. Click on that layer. Now, to show you what it would look like without the text, just to show you that this is on a separate layer than the picture is. Um, anytime you add text, it automatically adds a layer for you. But to show you how this works, see this little eyeball here? It means once I turn the eyeball off, it watch what happens. It takes away. So this shows you it takes away the text and it shows you that this is a layer. You've got something piled on top of the other layer. Uh, same thing you can do with the, the background layer. You can take that out and you notice all you have is your lettering. So that's what layers are. These are images stacked on top of each other transparently to add to your entire image. Okay, now we're going to use another image that I have. Now what I have done here is I have copied another image from another Photoshop file and I basically pasted it into this image. And I'm going to show you how to do that more in depth in another lesson. But just take it for granted I pasted this in here. Whenever you paste anything from one Photoshop file to the next or from one thing to the next, usually it creates another layer. Now you'll see that I have this little picture of my face here and it's on its own layer. I can turn it on and turn it off. But what I want it to do is to fit right inside of this area right here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to use the magnetic lasso tool and we're going to use the clipping mask, which is another layer over here. So let me turn it back on. And I'll turn it back off again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just this area right here. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Remember, anytime you want to zoom in on something, you can always use the magnifying tool. I want to zoom in on this area right here. And I want to select just this part of the image. So I want to zoom in pretty close on that. And this is the part I want to fit my picture into. Okay, you go over and you select the magnetic lasso tool, and it's pretty easy. Just click on this. Now you notice this is one of those hidden tools again. Your lasso tool polygon lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool. This is the one we're going to use because it will automatically se select certain areas of the image. Okay, now I'm going to start clicking and just click along the edge of it and it automatically selects real easily the areas that you want. Um, it's amazing how this tool works but as you're going around here it's selecting the part of the image that you really want based on texture, color, and a bunch of other uh, factors. So it's pretty cool like that. And I'm doing a little bit of a sloppy job here, but overall this thing is amazing how it works. Okay, so I have selected the area where I want my picture to go into. And I could have done a better job than this, but basically that's what we wanted to do. Okay. We're now going to zoom out a little bit. By the way, wherever you click at, on your images where you're going to zoom out at. If I click over here, I'm going to see what it does. So wherever you click at, either zooming in or zooming out is where you're going to wind up at on your picture. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is, 
we want to use that other layer of my picture here to fit inside of that. So the next step is to select. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this area right in here. And it's very easy to do. But you've got to remember one thing. You've got to remember where you are in your layers. So over here, you notice I'm in layers. And I want to copy it from this image. I don't want to copy it from this layer because that's me. And it will just copy me again. And I don't need that. What I want to do is copy this part right in here. So the way you do that is you hit Control J. And it automatically creates a copy and puts it in its own layer right here. Now they've labeled it layer two. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. There it is. I can turn it on, turn it off, just like I did before. Okay, we'll turn this back on again. All right. So now the next step that we want to do is we want to turn this into my image into what they call a clipping mask. We're going to select the layer that my face is on. We're going to click on that until it's blue. That's layer one. And then we're going to hit control Alt and G on your keyboard, and look what happens. Automatically, it fits it in there. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? That is so cool, I can't even believe it. And the thing that's neat about that is, once you've created this clipping mask, as long as you've got this blue clipping mask selected in the blue, and it looks blue here, um, you can alter it any way you want to. It won't affect the rest of the picture. See there? I'm using a brush on this. See that? So only what's inside of here, if you've selected the clipping mask and you've done it right, will it affect that picture. Okay, this has been Mark Elmo Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we teach you how to use Photoshop clearly and concisely. God bless and have a great day.